Hey right. Phil, what are we talking about today? We're talking about the steel. Steel? Is that how you say that? Still. Steel. 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 Stale. Stale. Either, either way, we all know. Stale like this beer. Stale. No, it's not steel. <laughs> We all know that the outdoor uh, power tool company Steel, uh, they've got a line of cordless mowers made for the homeowner. Like, you know, for every pro, we're all homeowners, right? Uh, we're going to be talking about the RMA 410. Well, well why, why this beer? Why Peak? We haven't talked about the beer yet, Rob. I know, but why? I'm just curious because I haven't tasted it yet. I've never had this beer before. You did pour it out elegantly, though. Phil, I know Beautiful how, for the I know camera. how to pour beer. Phil always tries to pair the beer to the tool. So why this Why this beer? We paired this uh, cordless lawnmower with Peak Organics uh, Fresh Cut Dry Hopped Pilsner, <laughs> which has well done. You know the scent of freshly cut grass, and it is a is a fine uh, hoppy pale ale. Really? It, no, it's a Pilsner. <laughs> Okay, he's full of crap. Anyway, what do you think of so, uh, cordless mowers? Yeah, do you use? I think for me the takeaway: no gas, no fumes, low maintenance. No gas is a, is just a winner right there. No spark plug, no oil. Um, yeah, I mean, the easy. convenience is. Yeah. I mean, this is a homeowner geared tool. You know, this isn't designed for a landscaper or anything. Um, but the convenience is is right there. Yeah. No one wants to mow their lawn. You know, that's a chore. When you add getting gas or maintaining the, you know, this gas engine, nobody wants to do Tell that. Tell the truth, you make your wife mow the lawn, don't you? Actually, that is one of the. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh, but my wife mows the lawn too sometimes. Yeah. With with this battery operated mower, there's no pull start. No, there's a push push start, so she can start it easily. It's 45 pounds. She can push that around with little effort, um, and she's not yeah. breathing in gas. Yeah, she's right. not dealing with loud noises. You so know, she, we have a cordless mower too. And it's not a steel, still, still. It's a, um, it's a different brand, yeah. but it uh, push start and good to go. And it, it lasts. This one particular, the steel lasts a quarter of an acre. Yep. So, so that's what I have. So it lasts my whole yard. Yes. Yeah, uh, one thing I got a kick out of is it has a, uh, well, the grass catcher, the bag. It holds 14.5 gallons, but it has an indicator, and I always call the indicators on my truck idiot lights. Yep. Those are my dogs barking. Just don't mind them. They're crazy. <laughs> but. The idiot light goes out. It's not really a light. It's not an LED light. It's actually like a lever or a something. A little tab like. that comes yeah. up. Once Does it your actually come up like this? Like a bag full? <laughs> Change the bag. In. So. so how much? This to get started on this unit is about six hundred bucks. Oh, I was afraid you were going to say that. Six hundred bucks is steep, but with a brand name like Steel, it's it's a great it's a great brand. Yeah. Uh, would I throw six hundred bucks at it? Probably not. I don't know. Maybe, but I am sold on cordless. If, if it lasts six years, it's a hundred bucks a year, right? There you go. There you go. Well done, Phil. Boom. See you guys.